Hi guys and welcome to today's video on using Pythagoras' theorem in spheres. Uh, it's actually the last lesson in this section for further maths and uh, it is a fairly funky one. Now don't worry if you are not doing maths over here in Australia. Pythagoras theorem, spheres, really really important stuff and worldwide because maths is of course a constant. Um, if you haven't already done so, head over to mathsguru.com uh, where you can find all these videos uh, organized by chapter and by title with downloadable notes and if you can also head to YouTube and subscribe I'd be deeply, deeply grateful. It just helps me know that people are watching. I'm never going to be rich and I'm certainly never going to be famous, but just knowing that people are watching is greatly, greatly appreciated. Leave some comments below if you're on YouTube um, and let me know what you think of the videos. I'm doing my best here for you uh, to ace these exams. Okay, Pythagoras theorem in, the in spheres. We have met Pythagoras theorem pretty much all the way through this course. And we know that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. It helps us find the length of lines for right angle triangles. Now, whether we're dealing with spheres or hemispheres or whatever else, and we've already had an example of this previously, where we had to find the radius of a small circle as opposed to the radius of a great circle. We just need to make sure that when we have a triangle, we label that c squared is always the length of the longest side. And once we know that, we can find other side lengths or, or whatever. Now, I'm going to use one example to show how we apply this. Now, there is a hemisphere, no different from a sphere. As I say, previous example, previous video, there are examples where we use the earth and radiuses to sort of work all this stuff out. But the pond in the shape of a hemisphere radius 5 meters. Now, they haven't put anything on there, but I'm going to write 5. And a water depth of 1 meter. So we know the depth from here to here is 1 meter. Find the length of the water line. Now, what on earth is the length of a water line? That basically is this length all the way around here. So the water line is the line of water, and it wants to know the length. That's another way of saying find the circumference. 